Peace and welcomings to the Ogono Art family. Today we're going to be speaking about how much is your passion worth? So for me personally, I've been diving deep into uh, comics and I've spent a whole load of money just uh, getting a, a new computer, uh, you know, art supplies because art supplies can get expensive, you know, like Copics. And so I've spent uh, $300 in, into Copics. Uh, my scanner was around uh, $300 to $400. Uh, the computer was, you know, like around like $500 or so. So I spent a lot of money regarding the topics of my passion. And also to include like the new mic, you know, the G-Pen, the, 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 the comic book paper that I use like daily. You know, that's like money spent within the passion, that within my interests. And so sometimes I'd encounter people who will say to themselves that they don't have money to afford so-and-so art supply. But at the same time, I see them like spend money on, you know, you know, really expensive clothes or, you know, a, a new video game console and whatnot. Like I see where they're spending their money at. And so... It truly means what you value is where your money is going to. And so let's say, for example, uh, a young one, uh, a young person got uh, his birthday money and his birthday money estimated to around 200 or one, $150 or so. And you can either choose to spend that money towards your passion or choose it to spend that money towards something that's irrelevant to your passion. You know, perhaps uh, video games can be your passion. You know, perhaps you want to be a, uh, a YouTube gamer, so perhaps the, the money being spent on the YouTube gaming stuff would be beneficial to you. But if you were a artist or so, and there were like, you know, video games, you have like selections of video games and whatnot, perhaps if you were like an artist, you may want to focus that money and spend that money onto your main passion, which is art. And so you may want to spend that $150 into buying a new art program like uh, like Manga Studio 5 or, or so. And even it, when you have that program, you'll have options. You have the internet to help teach you how to use these, these softwares. And so unlike the, the past, we're living in the digital information age. And with this digital information age, we have our phones, we have the computer to have ac to have quick access to the internet. Not like our not like the people in the past who didn't have, you know, this quick access. So this is what's beneficial to us. Now what we have to learn how to master in the digital information age is where we place our focus on because there are so much uh, uh, content so much you know entertainment so much uh, things on the internet so much information on the internet that it can be overwhelming to us and so the trick here is to keen in something that is beneficial to your life path to your to your you know to your perfect to your purpose or your goals and so they say that attention is the new currency and so what are you placing your attention on and is it beneficial for your for your passion or your life path or your evolution so to say and so let's say that you're a manga artist or a storyteller and you're consuming uh anime and as you're consuming anime you can be uh it can be beneficial to that uh to that person because they can either be studying the way characters are being introduced, get some inspiration from certain stories to help with their life path, to help with their purpose, etc. And so that cons that consumption can be benef beneficial to the artist. But at the same time, you want to find that balance of consumption and production. And even doing uh, studies or sketches for practice can be a form of production even though they're not finalized and they're not being shown to people they, they, it's still production 
And since everyone has a different life path and passions, let's say that you're a game developer, an aspiring game developer, and you're playing a video game, you may study how that video game operates, you know, learn from it, etc., to apply it to your own passion. And at the same time, the game developer is studying code and, and practicing code. And let's say that you wish to become a, uh, a content creator, a, a gaming channel, video game channel. You may want to look into how to become a more entertaining personality to your viewers. So what makes a gaming channel successful is not the, the game itself, it's the individual personalities of the of that channel and so people would be attracted to for example there are two different uh, you know gaming channels there's Markiplier there's PewDiePie some people prefer Markiplier some people prefer PewDiePie so even if they were playing the same exact game people will people would will have different uh, different preferences just due to the content creators personality so that's one thing to keep in to keep mind of to keep track of so like viewers are mainly attracted to the personality of that gaming channel and the gaming content is secondary and so i remember in high school i was into competitive pokemon so i'd look into various different strategies i'd study uh different you know move sets study ways to you know outmaneuver my opponents through predictions learn people's uh, like th thought patterns uh, learning how to, you know, build a proper team, you know, etc. So, and that was like through, you know, ex experience and various, you know, YouTube videos and studying different players and whatnot. And so that's what uh, consumed uh, most of my time. And it was fun. I had awesome memories, etc. However, it wasn't something that I like enjoyed 100%. What I truly enjoyed 100% was uh, manga, comics, and art. And so it makes me wonder if back then, if a person would choose to put that, that focus, that creative energy, that focus onto their main passion, let's say that main passion could be writing or music or, or art, there'd be a even further development in in their craft as they go on into adulthood and it's never too late to dive into a passion you can be 30 or 40 you can still you know, dive into your passion to learn and i always say if you give up on yourself then the world gives up on you because you'll see countless of stories of older people that you know, started their passion at an older age and are still reaping the benefits. And sometimes you have younger people saying, I'm not old enough to do that yet. I don't, I'm not old enough to gain that kind of experience yet. And you have older people saying that I'm too old to do the stuff young people can do. And so you would want to change that limiting mindset to something more beneficial for your evolution uh and so when you see younger kids that are like age 10 or 15 and they're doing like really well art that's a sign that they're they're placing their consumption and their focus on towards art you know they aren't being dis distracted towards different things that aren't necessary to their life path and that will be the video thank you guys for watching if you guys have any suggestions on what other videos or what other topics you'd like me to talk about, just leave so in the comments below. And yeah, that'll be it. Later. And consider subscribing to the family. So you can hit that. And don't forget to uh, hit the, the red bell button for to get notified for when I upload every Saturday. So when you click that, you'll see this. You can click the chat box to send the notifications for you and then just save it. I also provide you guys a Discord or a place to chat. My Discord will be available in a link down below. I provide references, you know, for anyone that want to, you know, 
look into it. You know, so I have references for, you know, ears, breasts, you know, front torso, back torso, etc. And including hands as well. And this is where you can, you know, just chat with a family and you can share your artwork here, etc. That's just the basis of the Discord. Check it out, whatnot. And that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.